this is Carl and I ordered myself a robot cat. So this is Hasbro's Joy for All companion for everybody. So I'm just gonna open it up and, and see what it's all about and uh, you know, see how lifelike it really is. So, turn it around this way so you see the experience of unboxing the cat. So far a cat with no name, all right. So, so when you look inside the box, here's what you see. You got, you got a cat head and a cat brush. All right, so the brush is kind of stuck in with rubber bands. If you, uh, you ever unpackaged a Barbie doll, you know what I'm talking about. So pull up that and we got a little more padding, a little extra padding. I guess that's just to keep the cat in place. And then we pull out the cat. So it, you can tell it sort of sounds mechanical a bit. All right, so there it is. So the, so far, it's got these little pads here. You see that? Little pads on his feet. So kind of clunks a bit, but uh, I haven't got a name for it. So I put a, a note on Facebook to collect recommendations. So instructions seem very simple. It says, you got your cat, you got a battery uh, thing here. It's got a little tag that actually sticks out from the battery compartment. I will probably cut that off when the time comes. And all you got to do is reach in there and there's a button. It's got off, mute, and on. So I'm turning it on. So, all right, cat. All right, what else are you gonna do for me? <laughs> are you closing your eyes? Are you gonna go to sleep? All right, so it purred, and I think that's just from the motion. So now maybe it's picking up the motion of my vibration. Maybe it can hear me, I don't know. So to play without sounds, you have to mute the cat. <laughs> and you can turn it off if you need to. So that's good for me, because when I travel, I don't want it to be like Schrodinger's cat, and I don't know if it's gonna be alive or dead when I get home. All right, so you can pet it. It's kind of got bony little arms. Oh, its legs move, or at least one of them does. Yeah, yeah, the legs move, so that's cool. But I don't think it stands up or anything. Uh, anyway, I will check back and let you know what I think about the cat after I've uh, had it a couple of days and see whether it actually does anything. So, no. <laughs> this is a Hasbro Joy for All companion cat and I bought it because uh, I wanted to see what this world of companion robotic animals is about. The Probably the most famous robot animal is Poro or Puro. Uh, which is this baby seal, and it's much more expensive, uh, very popular in Japan. Uh, but one of the things that I do is meditate. And so I had a couple of cats for 15 years, and, you know, they passed away one last year, one the year before. And so I've been thinking, you know, it'd be nice to have another cat. I'm talking here. But I travel a lot, so, you know, I'm not sure I want to get another live cat. So... Figured I'd give this a try and see, you know, it, it, I have to say after a few days, it's nice to have this cat sort of hanging around. I have an office here, just like a real cat. He never shuts up. Uh, and he does all kinds of interesting things from time to time. But as far as I can tell, none of them are in response to anything I do, except if I touch the cat, then it goes from sleeping to awake. Uh, but even after hours and hours and hours, it will occasionally just meow from the other room. You know, you set it on the table and you walk away. Sometimes in the middle of the night, 
I will hear it meow for no reason whatsoever. Again, not completely different from a live cat. So when I pick him up, he uh, begins to be more active. And then if I pet him, then he becomes even more active and you know, purrs, so forth. Might be super loud on this microphone. Uh, I have had people tell me, you gotta put your cat in the other room for this phone call. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, I do have to say, one of the things I was most interested in is what is it like to meditate with the cat? If you've ever meditated with a live cat, you know it can sometimes be challenging, but the reality is that's kind of the point of meditation. It is not to have no distractions. It is to continue to be mindful through the distractions. <laughs> He's gonna go to sleep now. So if you imagine, you know, trying to meditate in this environment, <laughs> it can be quite distracting, right? Here's this cat moving around, going to sleep, purring sometimes. And as you can see, sometimes you find yourself just sort of interacting with it, uh, petting the cat, scratching his head, uh, that sort of thing. And it is, it is actually kind of nice to have this, uh, animal, even though I know it's not a real animal, but it's kind of nice to have around. And I find that whoops, throughout the day, uh, every once in a while, I'll be doing something. The cat will say meow and it'll sort of just be a very comfortable feeling that, uh, you know, this, this thing is there, even though it's not live. And uh, I haven't gotten to the point where I'm talking to the cat yet, but <laughs> I could totally see that happening. As a companion animal, obviously it's not real, but it can be something that I think a lot of people could get a lot of no. use out of. No. Um, it, there are a lot of people who are in situations where uh, maybe the only people that the, they have to talk to, uh, it's just there's a lot of stress in that environment or there's a lot of stress in that relationship. And so having something like this that can help them relieve their stress is very useful. I will say meditating while the cat purrs uh, is a very similar experience. You know, you close your eyes and you're trying to meditate and the cat starts purring. Uh, it's very similar to meditating with a real cat. So uh, to the extent that it is, uh, you know, something that can calm people down and relax them, there's huge benefits to that. You know, in the medical community, these comfort animals uh, are really designed to help people uh, enjoy their life just a little bit more. And you know, the, the price, about a hundred bucks, uh, is, you know, totally worth it. I have wasted a hundred dollars on many other things and uh, we'll see how much, uh, you know, time I get uh, before I get tired of the cat. I will say this, the cat for a hundred dollars doesn't do very much, right? Like you, you've kind of seen the entire repertoire. <laughs> uh, oh, maybe you haven't seen him yawn, but that's pretty much it. Um, it doesn't shoot lasers from its eyes, so it's not that kind of a robot cat. Uh, it doesn't, as far as I can tell, have audio sensors, although every once in a while, I'll make a noise and the cat will meow. And then I think, oh, is that a random thing that I'm just training myself to believe? Or uh, does it actually uh, react to that? Uh, it doesn't have light sensors. It doesn't, other than what you've heard, doesn't talk. So I could see this being integrated into an Alexa or something like that. And, you know, sort of notching up to a different level of interactivity. That's about all I have to say with regard to the Joy for All Hasbro Electronic Kitty. By the way, I've got a, a tie I call My Tie Polichuk. It's got his own Facebook page. So when I called out for names, my friend Ted say, why not My Cat Polichuk? So that's actually his name is My Cat. Thanks for checking it out. If you enjoyed the video or found it useful, please give me a thumbs up.